Hello everyone. So today I'm talking to any small business. Of course, my passion is clinical research. So I'll be especially talking to smaller clinical sites, medium-sized clinical sites, uh, smaller biotech companies. But the idea is how do you get noticed on LinkedIn? So LinkedIn has actually become the primary business development platform in every industry. Um, around the world. And so understanding the recent algorithm changes could help you make a bigger impact and create new business relationships. So the shared content has actually gone up 40% in the past two years, and it has supposedly three professionals joining every second. I don't know. Is that even possible? This is mind boggling to me. So big changes happened to uh, the LinkedIn feed this year. So there are fewer selfies, fewer, less irrelevant material. Um, what they found, I'm going to look at this, is that LinkedIn users want content that is relevant and grounded in knowledge and advice. So I can think of a few people in clinical research who use memes, but you'll notice that the content they write that goes with the memes is always relevant, has an intriguing concept, often a one that causes um, or leads people to have conversation about it. It's not just a meme. It's not just a picture, right? There's content. And that's what I really want to talk to you about in terms of creating engaging um, engaging content because it's not enough to just share a post. If you just share it, the algorithm doesn't do much with that. They're really looking at making the right connections. So they're looking, so that will they be LinkedIn. So here's what I would say to you. I'm trying to make this as brief as possible. First of all, ask yourself who you're trying to reach. Who is your post relevant to? And usually the best answer for LinkedIn is a is to do posts that contain knowledge that you have that can help people in your field, right? So I might have knowledge about LinkedIn, I'm trying to share it with you. Someone else might have knowledge about decentralized clinical trials, they're trying to share with you. That's what the algorithm is looking for. Also, stick to areas in which you have authority. And one really good way to look at this is, does your LinkedIn profile say that you are an expert in um, let's see, change management, then maybe you should be talking about change management. Are you an expert in clinical trials, in remote data monitoring, anything? Obviously, you can expand this to any business. Go ahead and have your content and your profile match. That would be the ideal. So that way, LinkedIn starts to identify you as an authority. For example, when I looked at my LinkedIn profile, it says that I'm associated with, I think, four or five hashtags. I didn't add those hashtags. Those hashtags come in from other ways that are there. Now, you can add hashtags as well. Uh, the better your authority and knowledge-based content, the more LinkedIn will automatically show your content to other people in your field. And then going back to the sharing posts, if you do share posts, be sure to add your own perspective and opinions. Don't just copy generic content. Uh, also, you know, sometimes, for example, I will post about health because health is an important concept to me, I think, for, for having you be the best professional you can be. So I mean health in a professional, like in a way that makes us the best we can be, because, and I to me, that's a leadership concept, but it does seem sort of out of sync with what I do, because clinical research is about health. Leadership involves health in my mind, but that's not really obvious. But most of my posts would be about the things that are actually in my profile about loving leadership, change management, marketing strategy, things like that. And those are always the highest ranking posts is when, uh, so LinkedIn uses AI to rank unique posts higher than shared posts with repeated content. So be brave, share what you actually think, share your advice, share your personality. That's what becomes the highest ranking. So in summary, and now's a great time to start posting on LinkedIn and take advantage because they are reaching so many people. It can really increase the visibility 
of yourself, your company, and even just starting with one post a week or sharing a post from a relevant business connection can go further than before. Um, I'll see here, I'm looking at some stats. So big businesses post daily on LinkedIn with the help of a dedicated marketing team. As your business grows, I think you'll notice the benefits of posting more often, but seriously, once a week would make a big difference to uh, the people who follow you because posts on LinkedIn are now 10% more likely to be seen by your followers. That doesn't sound like a lot, but 10% growth would be amazing, right? So 10% is great for right now. And I hope that you will look for ways to post, think of things, don't just share them, share your personality, share your advice. I can give you some great examples, but of course it would be wrong to to signal out some people as being so great at it and not others. So I hope you enjoy LinkedIn. Um, I've been surprised how much I've enjoyed it, especially connections I've made. They contact me all the time and it's really interesting what people are up to in the world. Enjoy, bye.